shady character. What's his name? So, at the moment, I'm just carrying it in this, like, well, extra, extra tough, extra strong zip, zip type bag, ziplock bag. And you can see everything that's in there. Um, I've tried various things in the past. Um, I still use other things, but as, as I say, currently this is this is what I'm comfortable taking out on a ride as the, the minimalist amount of stuff, I guess, to get me out of a, a shithole. Okay, as you can see, this clear plastic bag, just a Ziploc bag. Um, I've got various other little, like, bags and, like, wallets and things I've even made before in the past just to try and keep the bulk down, to keep the minimalist amount of stuff down whilst I'm cycling. Again, this is what I'm just comfortable taking out with me on a ride at the moment. Again, it also depends on if I'm riding uh, clinchers or tubulars, but recently I've just been riding my uh, my clinchers. So let's just take a look in here and I'll show you what I got. So we got some money. Leave home with, with some money. Uh, if I'm going a bit further, obviously I'll take uh, some plastic with me or something. We have... Uh, Two spare, or rather, the, my seat post on my bike at the moment, I'm using a race face seat post, and it's got two seat, boats, um, seat post bolts with it, okay? Now, the reason I carry these is, that has really been the only thing that has broken down on my bike in the past, my seat post clamping bolts. One of them has snapped, all right? Now, if you're a long way from home, it can be a bit awkward to cycle without a seat something to sit on all right um, i pedaled home before five miles or so and that was bad enough so again they're light they don't you know they don't weigh anything they don't take up much space so personally for me that's two things i carry all right i carry a spare uh valve uh, extender i carry a long one because i've got different wheels and also People, other people I cycle with have different wheels, so it can help someone else out. And we've got a spare valve in there as well. All right, good idea. So that can help you out a lot. We have, let's see, three cut down zip ties, again, for zip tying stuff out of the way, man. Uh, spokes, cables, there isn't really much else you're going to need them for. But always nice to have, super light. And again, they just don't take up much space. Then on here we've got uh, a five mil spanner. Again, for the the valve extender, because I like to pinch mine up, pinch mine up quite tight. All right. Um, we've got a Schrader to or a Presta to Schrader adapter, always handy. And again, a couple of more little plastic. Um, valve extender removers, tire valve removers. I've got tiny, um, what's this? This is Spyderco, I think. Tiny little Spyderco knife. All right, that's so small, man. Like if you compare it to, compare it to the zip tire or the valve extender. Just a tiny little knife, man. A um, couple of spare, Spare KMC quick links. All right, then we got some gaffer tape, a little bit of gaffer tape there again for split tire or something. Uh, I mean, you can always use stuff on the side of the road if you're lucky, but you don't rely on that. And we've got some of these part tool uh, super patches. I've gotten on really well with these, I've been using these for years years eight nine ten years or something i don't know they've been out a while and before you start going on about they don't work well they do work if you're careful and you use them correctly as they say okay again i've never had any problems sealing up a, a puncture with these and if he, i've even uh, uh sort of managed to patch up snake bites with these as well all right i do use conventional patches as well yeah, I've done it all, people. I've tried everything, man. I've got everything and just, you know, it's all been just tested out with me personally over the years, you know. There's some old, uh, that's motorcycle inner tube there. It's ideal for patching. And then underneath here, we've got old drinks carton. 
um, squares. They're good for patching up tears in the tire. Um, so again, if you're beside the road or something, and you've got yourself a tiny little you know blade or knife like that, you can make boots, tire boots out of things. All right. Um, that's pretty much it. That's my little EDC pocket dump currently. Again, it doesn't weigh anything, and it can get you out of a um, situation if your bikes up together if it's clean it's greased you've checked it over again things can break at any time man you can have a pedal spindle go or you know your chain can snap again i carry a little chain tool sometimes again depends where, where i'm going um how long i'm going to be and what i what i feel i need to take with me really all right so thanks for watching i hope that's given you some ideas as to stuff you can carry whilst you're cycling also it's important to note that um it's important to note, all right, mm -hmm. that when you're out riding your bike with other people as well, this stuff can help out other people big time as well, okay? So don't always just think of yourself, like people that go out with just a couple of CO2 canisters and some tire levers and some patches. You're just thinking of yourself. You need to be thinking of other people. Because remember also, if someone else gets a mechanical out on a ride and you're carrying just, say, a couple of, um, uh, you know, extra patches, some gaffer tape or a couple of... Uh, this just showed you there some KMC uh, chain chain links. It can get get the whole group um, going, moving down the road a lot quicker, can't it? So thanks for watching. If you like this, give it a like. He's a shady character. What's his name? It ain't nothing like a fist full of cash or a blitz full of the hash that twists like a moustache from end to end, spread it like a rash. From talking through your walkman or at your disco bash, give me the Tim's rumble, still skin brown, a metal face mask with the boom down. I might tilt down a hundred thousand pounds and see how kilt sound like spilt milk clown.